Today I'm going to be potting on some seedlings. These are amaranthus. Uh, it's a nice plant. This is what it looks like. And these grow to about a metre tall and they have a nice seed head. Uh, they make a very attractive plant in a cottage garden border and they add a bit of structure and accent to the garden. So a word about potting on seedlings. It's not a good idea to pot them on when they're tiny, like these tomato plants. I wouldn't be pricking those out into bigger pots yet. Best to wait until they've got two or maybe even four proper leaves. These are just the seed leaves, um, which come up first before the main leaves. So you wait until you've got quite a substantial plant, otherwise they're too delicate to handle. So these ones here are just about at the right stage for potting on. And I use usually just a plant stick to dig them out, my finger, just to take them out. And I do it like that, removing a little ball of soil around the root. I know some people pull them out by the leaves, but I want to put as little damage and stress onto the plant as possible. And if you do it like this, it doesn't really know that it's been moved. So a little bit of soil in a small pot, pop it in and gently just press down around it. And there you have a lovely little plant that doesn't even know it's been moved, so it's not going to be stressed, it's not going to wilt. So I'll water that one later. I'll do one more to show you again. When you're using a small pot, these are quite small and it's much better for the plant to be a little bit pot bound when it's growing because its roots grow out quickly and then you get a good, strong plant. Let's take another one. You're not quite gentle with them, but they are, as I say, a bit more robust at this stage than the little plants that you get that are tiny seedlings. So, as I say, much better to wait until they get to be this size. There you go, Amaranthus. Now, these are Bragmansia, and they're a red variety called Sanguinea, and they are just wonderful. These ones, as you can see, have grown very well. Normally they're quite difficult to grow, but um, I have a pro heated propagator, so that helps. So these are about a good size now to be potting on. Again, I'm not going to pot these into huge pots. So I'm just going to tip the whole thing out, like so. And just put them into pots, again, the same smallish pot. Because I think um, if you put them into a large pot, they're quite susceptible to die from root rot or if you, if you water them a bit too much and they sit in a wet compost, particularly before the weather warms up properly in the greenhouse. There we go. You can plant them a little deeper than the seedling was so that you don't get such a tall, lanky plant. Okay, and don't forget to label all these plants. Once you get them into their individual pots, they do need a label. Otherwise, if you're anything like me, you forget what you've planted. Now, two weeks ago, I planted some small vegetables in these little thumb pots, and here they are coming up nicely. We've got sweet corn. That's a nice plant. I grow it for the corn, but also because it looks great in the garden when it's growing. And these are a climbing French bean called Blue Lake. Now, I grow these every year. If you put four or five of these in a large pot with some um, bamboo canes, They'll grow up to the top and you'll have more beans than you can eat. But they're a lovely one because they're the very small French beans. So they're good to grow. And then in these, I've got little pots of iceberg lettuce, which I will separate out because obviously they make one lettuce each. So, uh, But that's iceberg and that's a good one to grow too. So it's nice to see things coming on. Uh, I planted two seeds in each of these and usually you let the two grow, they both germinate and you pull out the weaker one. But this has done it on its own, there's only one germinated. These have got, this has got two, that has two plants in. But I shan't pull them out, I'll just split them up, put them in other pots, I think. So this is a good crop of um, tumbling tomatoes that I've done. These are about six weeks from sowing um, and they'll be ready soon to be potted on into bigger pots. As you can see, they've got roots coming out and they've done very well. 
but I haven't grown this one before and I wanted to try it because I wanted to put some in hay baskets on the fence or in hanging baskets or even in large pots. Um, tomatoes are fantastic, I mean a good one to grow and I have got some of those sown but they're not um, growing yet is sun gold. Um, it's a lovely small cherry tomato, very sweet um, and there's different varieties. Sun gold is the, is the one that's slightly orangey rather than the red variety. Um, but there's some lovely varieties of those cherry tomatoes. They're well, well worth growing. This is a nice crop of um, Petunia grandiflora, and these have grown very well from seed. They're ready now for pricking out into small pots and growing on in the warm greenhouse. And hopefully we'll get a good summer and lots and lots of flowers from these.